Hi, George here. And today I want to talk about using brush sets and particularly how to save your own custom brush set. Now, here's our brush. You can then just paint right onto your picture or hopefully onto a new layer as I have up here that we can show or hide that. There we are. I just control Z to undo that. You can change the brush size right down here, the opacity, all those kind of standard settings in here. And if you want to change your brush from hard brush to a soft brush, you click on the brush sample right here and you can then scroll down and find additional brushes such as your soft edge brushes right in here. Now, if we keep on scrolling down, there are some fancier brushes. Here we go, here's some that has some scattered patterns on them. They give you a rougher texture, more of a natural texture. So a lot of different things. Keep on going down, you can even get into some grass brushes and leaf brushes and things. I've shown all this in previous videos over the past few years. But you can choose these different brushes. Now, along with that, there are loads more additional brushes in here. Click where it says default brushes opens up a drop down list and you have loads and loads of brush sets in here such as the natural brushes too. I'll click on that one. Now the problem with all these brushes is that they're in all these different brush sets. You'll only be using a small handful of these different brushes. You'll find some favorites. You'll go back to those all the time. The problem is they may be spread up between several different brush sets. So let me show you a way to create a custom brush set and then save your brushes into that custom brush set. The first step is to take your default brushes here. Make sure you're on that one. Go over here to the three dots and come down where it says save brushes right down here. We're going to be saving the default set as a new set of brushes. Click on save brushes. And this brings up whatever your last location was. You may have this already set at the proper location for saving this too. This one's not. This is just one that I have, just kind of a working folder that I save my Photoshop brushes into. I'll show you the correct location right now and you'll see if you're there or not. By default, it should go into the right saved location for the presets for your brushes. If you're not there, here's how you get there. Click up into the address bar and then type in percent app data, percent, just like that. Hit the enter key, and this takes you into the app data roaming folder. This is a hidden folder inside of Windows that a lot of programs use to store a lot of information, defaults and presets, things like that. If you're not sure about anything specific in here, don't touch anything, leave this alone. But I'll show you what to do here in this one particular case. Go into the Adobe folder, find your version of Photoshop Elements, Go past a lot of this stuff in here, and it's way down here where it says Photoshop Elements. Go in here, find your current version, 2024. So here's our 24.0 version. Click into that. Come down here to Presets, and then click into Brushes. Okay, down here, it says File Name Untitled Brushes. I'm going to change Untitled to Favorite. There we go, Favorite Brushes. Choose Save. And we now have that saved. Now it's not going to show up in the list yet. And that's because Photoshop Elements reads this list when it first opens up, when it first starts. So you'll have to close down the program and reopen it. And we then should see that favorites list. Let me show you that real fast. I'll go ahead and I'll do that here in just a fast second. You won't notice that, but I'll tell you that I did it. But I will click on the close button right here. I'm not going to save that. Okay, we're back inside Photoshop Elements. That's how fast that was. Let's go back here and open up that one picture I had open. There we go. Back to our brushes, back to the options panel. And if we take a look at our list now, at the bottom, you should see favorite brushes right down here. There we go. So we can now add brushes into this favorite brushes set. At this point, this contains all these standard brushes from the default brushes. If you want to, you can get rid of these things. It's up to you. The way you get rid of a brush, click on the brush like this. You can right click and then just delete that brush from the set. I'll just choose OK. There we go. And you can just go through here and clean this out of anything that you don't want to be using. It could take you a little while. There are a lot of brushes in here, but that's how you can delete brushes out of this set. Let me show you now how you can add a brush to this set. I'll go to a brush set that I've loaded in previously, and that's my cloud brushes right down here. Here's our cloud brushes, and these allow me to come in and put in some nice clouds. Let me just make this a bit smaller here. And I'll use the left square bracket key to make this smaller, and a click, and there's some clouds. Great brush, I downloaded this in a previous video about brushes. I'll redo that video again pretty soon here. So I now have this cloud brush loaded into my brush. I can then change my brush set to that favorite brushes set. And now if I go over here and choose save brush, it'll give it a name or you can rename it if you want to. It's then going to save this brush into the currently loaded brush set, which is my favorite brushes. So I've now added that brush to the favorite brushes set at the bottom of that list right down here. And then come up here to the menu again and choose Save Brushes. And this saves that whole set. Make sure you save it back on your same set right here. Choose Save. Replace that. There we go. And this brush is now saved as part of that Favorite Brushes set. So that's how you can come in and create your own custom brush set. 
using brushes from any of these brush sets or downloaded brush sets like the cloud brushes right here, and then give yourself a nice, easy to use brush set with just the brushes that you normally use. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to check out my new coach for Photoshop Elements. I'll put a link for that in the description right down there. And I'll see you next time.